Any band that was in Boston in the 80s had to have played Chet's at least once. Chet's Last Call was always a place where people could try out any wacky idea that they had. Get it, baby! Chet's was a real place to prove just how good you were. And there's like this big old bar, and then you see a big old guy. That'd be Chet. Chet was awesome. Chet had a heart of gold. He really made it like a second home for a lot of people. He could be intimidating if he had to be. He delegated responsibility like a boss. There's a lot of bands. They owe their musical careers and history to Chet. Chet gave him this start, and I think once they played there, they were able to go out and branch off. Saving the damsels in distress on the MTV. He was the guy who opened the door for a lot of their careers. Well, I remember the back stairs was kind of the dressing room. That's where all the drugs and sex went on. It was the only place where you could go and pay the door and buy a bag of dope. Then suddenly, before you know it, the place wasn't there anymore. Maybe the mob would have moved in on him, maybe the cops would have, but you know, Chet certainly knew what was going on. I had a massive habit. I'd say he was sicker than he let on. I remember him telling me, it's either I'm going to kill myself or I'm going in to rehab. After he rehabilitated himself, he himself became a counselor and for many years helped many, many people. He went back to school to do his counseling degree so that he could be an alcohol and drug rehab counselor. I think only somebody who's been through it can help somebody else out of it. I think it's beautiful that he found that path. Could have been right at Chet's last call that my body and my soul is always, 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 always going to lay a a.